The future of social economic development in the Western Area District cannot be reliant on the local gold mines alone as they are cutting back on job numbers. Instead, a more diversified economy needs to be developed. Employment opportunities in this sector will continue to decline as mine closures take place in the coming years. With a more comprehensive understanding of the risks, community needs and perceptions, Goldfields and Sibanya's approach has moved from one of compliance to one focused on sustainable and improved livelihoods. The dependency that communities have on a mine is inherently um, a negative thing because you know that mining is, is finite and at some stage a mine will close. There's a couple of things that's important in terms of preventing that kind of situation and the first one is diversification of the local economy. The diversified economy is effectively an economy that is parallel to that of the mine and what that does is it, it, it takes away the dependency that the community has on the mine. Goldfields and Sibanye are committed to contributing to social and economic development in Western Area, which is home to many of their mines. This is why they have come together to form the Gold Alliance. Together with other interested stakeholders, the Gold Alliance aims at developing a diversified economy that will help restore the once thriving agricultural sector in this region. In 2015, the Alliance commissioned NGOs Seriti and AfriGrow to facilitate social cohesion among Western Area community members and to look at ways of bringing improvements to the quality of life in the region. So AfriGrow is a non-profit company which works uh, with mining companies throughout South Africa and Mozambique. AfriGrow's uh, area of expertise lies around community-driven agricultural programs. And what we like to say is we're growing food, farmers and livelihoods. The Western Area Organization Workshop, or WOW, was organized for this purpose and one of its outcomes was the formation of AgriFuture Primary Cooperative at Donaldson Dam. As part of Phase 1 and the establishment of Donaldson Dam, we were tasked to identify new farmers and place them on a vegetable farm. And that was done through the organizational workshop process. The newly registered cooperative is supported by a collaboration between the Alliance and its service providers and currently comprises more than 50 members. These members are organized into teams with varying responsibilities. These range from looking after crops, worm farms, a pack house, administration and security. So we start off by getting a piece of land and there in my role as production manager is decide what can we do there? What do we need to develop it? Then we start first looking for irrigation water because you have to have that with vegetables. And also we put together a production plan for winter you had certain crops, for summer you had certain crops, and the area, what is the general area where you produce. But the most important of all is the people. Their eyes were open when they said that we have something to produce and able to sell direct to the reliable marketers like spa and alutel marketers, then also direct to the community. So now everyone is happy, everyone knows his or her role. As you can see, all around, when we wake up, we know that we are here to produce and feed this community. One of AfriGrow's roles is mentoring farmers and helping them develop new skills to build sustainable livelihoods. Now I'm working. Going on from phase one, we um, identified the need to diversify the agricultural program into other commodities. And so accordingly, uh, initiatives in poultry production, in grain production, were identified as an immediate phase two. And so the GARP project was conceptualized and presented to the Alliance Board for consideration. And, and approved for the what we call the pilot phase, which is the establishment of two outgrowers. The intention of GAP and the outgrowers is to allow a community agricultural enterprise, which is largely inexperienced because it's a newly established enterprise, to interact with a commercial farmer. So taking people from knowing very little about something to a point where they actually understand what they're doing. It's a combination of that, that that we believe will bring about a success. These outgrowers are 20 hectare farms each, they are production under centre pivot irrigation. They produce maize, soya, 
small white beans and watermelons. The fact that the mines are leasing the land means that the recipients don't pay for land. Secondly, because we have an agri-center and we have an arrangement with the commercial farmer, initially they don't have to worry about equipment. What we are doing through this project is we're taking away that strain, allowing the project to become successful from a financial revenue generation point of view, and then slowly, with the right mentorship and guidance, assisting that project to start buying its own equipment over time. To date, the Gold Alliance together with the South Deep Education Trust, the South Deep Community Trust and the Western Area Community Trust have collectively invested over 20 million rand in Phase 1 and 2. One way the Alliance is showing its commitment to restoring the agricultural sector in the region is by transforming its portable skills training to skills that will support this sector. We're talking at least 10 years, but we know that at the end of this process, you are more likely to have individual units that are completely sustainable and independent.